Today I will tell you one uh, good method to get good marks. This is uh, applied, this is followed by very very so many number of students and they have achieved the best results also. Okay, this is a very quite common method that is tick and dot method. Tick and dot. Right, what is tick and dot? I wish I advise all the students right from nursery to engineering, doctor, medical, whatever. You should follow this. You can follow easily this method. So now before going uh, revision, you will be knowing what are the topics to be revised or what are the topics to be studied, whatever. You list out the topics. One, two, three. For example, rational number, definition of rational numbers, examples of rational numbers, like that. You have you have to list out the topic to be revised. You may be getting ten topics or six topics, whatever. You write all the topics. If it is science, English, whatever, all the subjects. You write point wise. Not a lesson. Lesson number one. No. In the lesson number one, what are the sub lessons, sub topics? Okay, you write everything one, two, three, four, five, like that. That is the first thing you have to do. That means list out the topics revised. That is the number one. I already you must be having a special time to revise that particular subject. When you start that subject, you keep that list of the topics in front of you. Right? In the beginning, everything will be dot only. So, topic number one, you revise it thoroughly. Once you are happy, yes, I have revised it completely. If a question comes in the examination, I can easily write. If you feel like that, then put a tick mark for the number one. Tick is over. So, the remaining points still dot only. So go to the second topic. Don't go to the, uh, by leaving, don't leave the topics in between. Go to the second topic. Revise it thoroughly. Once you feel that second topic is also completely revised, I'm happy. Whatever question comes on this second topic, I can easily write. If you are feeling like that, put a tick mark also. Sometimes what happens, your mind will mislead you. What your mind will tell you? I know, I, this is very easy, I can easily write. No. You should test yourself. Take a paper, write the second topic without seeing. Because in the examination, you have to write. So for writing only, you will have the marks. Whatever it is in the mind, teachers don't know. So it cannot be corrected. It is invisible. Whatever you write on the paper, teachers will see, correct and give the marks. So, test yourself whether you are able to write the second topic completely or not. Once you have written the entire second topic without mistake, then understand that second topic is completely revised. Put a tick mark for the second topic also. Go to the third, go to the fourth, apply the same procedure for all the topics. Not only for all the topics, for all the subjects, you do the same procedure so that you will not miss anything. One by one, one by one, you will be completing. How the building is to be constructed? Will they do first uh, roof? No. They will do the step by step procedure they will follow. They will make the foundation, they will take out the pits. They will put bricks and everything like that, like that, like that, like that only it will come. Your revision also should be like that only. Beginning one by one, one by one, one by one, one by one, like that. You will have a complete revision. Then you will have a good marks. I hope you have understood. I request you to follow this method. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.